and now we're gonna proceed to install our drives. Let's say the hard drives don't require this step, only the CD-ROM drives and the floppy drives because you know they have to be on the front, right? So you can put CDs and the floppies if you want to. So it's really simple. We already took off the, the side panel. So all you have to do is put your hand from behind the case and let's say I want to put my floppy right there and just push out like that. Let's say we want to put a CD-ROM drive. This one's already taken out, but let's say we want to put it right here. Just push out and you're done. You're all set to begin installation. So now we're going to proceed to install the floppy drive. And first thing you need to do is look at it and you notice there's two kinds of connectors. You get a big fat one right here. This one's for the data. You get a tiny, tiny one right here. This one is for the power. And the power connector for the floppy looks like this. It's nice and small and you'll notice it's keyed. So it goes like this on the floppy drive. It's a little tight, so don't worry about pushing in or pushing out. And now this is the cable for the, for the floppy drive. Cables for floppy drive have an interesting feature. They have this cross. I don't know if you can see it right there. This cross indicates that this is the end where the floppy goes. And this other end is where the, it goes to the motherboard. And the cable goes like this. Now one thing to keep in mind is uh, some, some floppy drives they're not keyed for the cable and it is possible to put it on backwards but there's one easy way to find out whenever you put the floppy cable on backwards the green light will come on and stay on even if there's a floppy even if there's not a floppy in the drive so if you install the floppy drive and you're finished and you put the cable on backwards the green light's gonna come on and it's not gonna go off so just watch out for that and it's really simple. If you do that, the light stays on. Take the cable out, flip it around, put it back on and turn on the power and it'll be just the way it needs to be.